The opinions expressed in this video are solely those of BoatTest.com and its Chief Operating Officer. Hi, Christopher Hughes for BoatTest.com, and today I'm inside the Beneteau factory, and we're going to take a detailed look at how they build their boats. The team at Beneteau prides itself on its deep heritage with building both sail and power boats. Our look will focus on some of the differentiating factors in how Beneteau builds their hulls and decks. Beneteau utilizes three processes for the manufacturing of its hulls and decks. The first is the conventional hand layup, the one most of us are familiar with. The second is resin infusing, and the third is injection molding. In all three manufacturing methods, the company's engineers carefully select which fiberglass materials will be used in each section of the boat. The computer-controlled cutting and marking process ensures a precision cut piece is exactly positioned. Computer cut pieces of each type of material are numbered, labeled as to composition and position, and imprinted with an arrow showing their orientation to the bow. Then they're all laid into the mold. Beneteau chooses which of the three processes to use based upon the size and type of the boat, the complexity of the design, and the expected production numbers. As an example, for the hull and deck of the GT38, they opt for the hand layup process, where layers of differing pieces of fiberglass fabric are positioned inside the deck or hull molds and then saturated with resin. After this comes the application of the end grain balsa core, which is the lightest and strongest core material available. Beneteau chooses end grain balsa core, which provides the optimal strength to weight ratio. The balsa is cut into rectangles. This allows for the resin to completely encapsulate the balsa, stiffening the structure and preventing the spread of water intrusion should there be a puncture. The second process is resin infusing, which is also used for both sail and power boats. In this process, the layers of fiberglass, balsa core, and more fiberglass are laid in. Then the entire hull or deck is covered in a special bag and a vacuum is applied. Scores of resin distribution tubes run to strategic locations around the mold so that when a vacuum is pulled, a pre-measured amount of resin is pulled through the fiberglass and around the balsa core. This process permits precise control of the glass to resin ratio, and being under a vacuum, it ensures that there are zero air voids in the finished hull or deck. Now let's look at the third process, and the most sophisticated, which Beneteau introduced in 2005. It's injection molding. Injection molding begins with the gel and skin coat being applied to the upper and lower halves of giant clamshell molds. One of the most important steps is the positioning of the fiberglass and other strengthening elements into the lower mold half, which are secured in place with resin. This gives them a very high level of control and precision throughout the process. When the mold comes apart, the part that comes out is perfectly finished on both sides. This process is used on both sail and power boats and provides many benefits which include a precise control of the exact weight and ratio of the fiberglass to resin in each hull and deck. The process also creates a perfect finish on both sides and a more worker-friendly and efficient environment. All of the trimming and hole cutouts on the decks and the hulls are all done by robots. This does two things. It allows for a high level of precision with hole placement and the quality of the holes, as well as dramatically reducing labor costs, which are reflected in the retail price. Beneteau has spent thousands of hours testing resin formulations for strength, weight, durability, and reaction to other materials they come in contact with, such as gel coats and adhesives, but most importantly, for its resistance to water intrusion through osmosis. The materials are only part of the equation with the process, how the materials are applied and used, being equally as important and tested. The result are hulls that can be taken nearly anywhere in the world with confidence and that meet their high standards in strength, durability, weight, and target cost. Group Beneteau has more than 20 facilities around the world, including France, Poland, Brazil, and Marion, South Carolina. They're also dedicated to the environment and are ISO compliant. I hope you've enjoyed our behind-the-scenes look at the Beneteau factory. For BoatTest.com, I'm Christopher Hughes.